Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print on demand journey. In this video we want to take a look at the weekly trends, best sellers on Amazon Merch on the US marketplace in terms of t-shirt designs and what has changed um, you know, to the last video. So we're going to have a look through what are the main best sellers. This is sorted by best seller rank. The tool I'm using is Flying Research. I can highly recommend it for flying um, for flying research for um, print on demand research. It works really well. As you can see, you can sort by um, marketplace here. So you could also have a look at the UAK marketplace, the German marketplace, French, Italian and Spanish uh, or Spain marketplace, depending on you know which marketplace you are selling on. And possibly one day they will integrate the Japanese marketplace as well, because I think that is getting more and more popular. You can sort by product. Currently they support t-shirt, hoodie, pop socket, phone case. So for example, there are best sellers on pop socket um, for the pop socket product that probably wouldn't be best sellers for t-shirts. So you can clearly see there are differences. And today we're going to take a look at um, t-shirts. At some point we might also be able to do some hoodie research or so. Let me know if you are interested in that because these have different best sellers than the t-shirts and we can sort by bestseller rank. You can also sort by review, by price, by newest, oldest and random. But I think BSR is probably one of the best ones because it allows you to really see the Amazon bestsellers because BSR is the bestseller rank. So the lower the bestseller rank, the more sales have been made with that t-shirt or that product or that design in the last, I think, 30 days. So we're going to take a look at that. And again, this is sorted by bestseller rank and the lowest one with the lowest bestseller rank. So the highest sales is here. This is that one. I'm not old, I'm classic. I can't understand why that is selling so well. Um, I mean, it is a good design, I must say, but it is not something outstanding, but it really has been leading this bestseller rank, um, you know, these bestseller ranks for a while now, or at least it's in the upper you know, in the upper range. So the person who has designed that is making serious money, 420 estimated sales in the last 30 days. That's just amazing. Another one that I've seen coming up in the last few days is this one. Um, and if you don't know what it means, think about it. Um, it makes sense. It's actually quite funny. Um, F U C K, right? So this is quite, quite funny. These are selling pretty well now. And, um, 279 sales, 223. They are actually quite simple to recreate as well. So the next one here, we've got that one that's been here ages now. It just shows again, and I did say it in previous videos, the power of just creating text-based designs. They can sell easily on Amazon as well. You just need to be, you know, a, a portion of luck belongs to it. I think quite a lot of luck, to be honest, to really stick out with one particular text-based design, but it just shows that they sell as well. And you can create them really with any design tool. You can create them with white text on black background, maybe that sort of used effect that you can see here. And also you can create them um, the other way around. So just like that one, just create a white text and a black, uh, sorry, a white background and a black text. So if you have one design, you can very easily, especially with a text-based design, very easily suddenly create two designs with the same text, just a different um, background color, different text color. All right, what else do we have? I think these are really the, like, the, this was really like the main change, this um, F-U-C-K design. And um, then what you can see more and more are coming in now with um, here with these t-shirts uh, with the with, uh, Halloween designs. So that's coming up. We obviously called it on this channel, but it's clear Halloween is coming up. So you don't need to be a genius to understand that um, Halloween designs are going to sell in the next few weeks even more. And I started to talk about Halloween designs in the middle of July and I'm well positioned for Halloween, I think. So let's see what's coming up. And I don't see many other changes. I think what has really changed is again, this F-U-C-K t-shirt. Then we can see Halloween designs more and more coming in. Very good ones, very creative ones. And um, I don't really see another main change here, but this is what it's about just to update you there's a Hawaiian t-shirt I haven't seen last week, which is coming in here. Um, and then the anime t-shirts are continuous bestsellers. So that is it, a niche to tackle, I think a growing niche still. Whereas for example, cats and dogs are quite overloaded now. Um, 
There's another one here of these F-U-C-K t-shirts. And I've seen that design quite a lot now. Um, I don't know where it comes from. I've seen it on Spreadshirt as well. This sort of rainbow structure, right? And um, then just mixed with, with the text. Um, so they are selling quite well. And I'm sure you can create something similar. I, of course, don't copy it. But I mean, that, that rainbow structure, these seem to be selling pretty well. But besides that, I think um, these are like the main changes in the bestsellers. And again, you can just stop the video and scroll through. And I'm sure my son would love one like these with the dinosaurs. It's quite untypical, I must say, because this is, of course, hard to read. Um, that's, of course, hard to read. And normally what we say is when you have a when you create a T-shirt design, you don't create one with a big text, with something that's standing out like this one. You can read it from like, you know, meters away, that one as well. And you can easily read it on the thumbnail. This, of course, you can't, but it's still something very creative and apparently selling quite well. So sometimes it's about being a bit creative, you know, doing something different than the standard. And there again, there you can see that rainbow structure. And I think that's pretty much the, the main changes. Um, so, yeah, by all means. Oh, by the way, yeah, these axolotl designs still seem to sell well. I mentioned it in last week's video and I still don't understand why these uh, are selling so well, but they are sort of trending. And again... Yeah, I'm with the witch. Yeah, that's quite good. All right, so I think that's it for today. Hopefully that was useful. If you liked that video, please smash the like button. If you want to check Flying Research out, you can find, again, a link in the description with a discount code. It's an affiliate link. You can support this channel. If you decide to use Flying Research to do your own research, it's got tons of other functions and features like keyword research as well. So if you find a design here, you want to do keyword research, understand what kind of keywords to use and what keywords are actually used at the moment for a particular bestseller design. You can use Flying Research for that. So that's fantastic. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to want me to do something different in these trend videos or bestseller videos. But I think I've got um, quite positive feedback on them. I think they're useful for many people. So yeah, let me know if you like the video, then hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you want to follow me on this print-on-demand journey. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.